fear. The void will know fear. When they see my big purple helmet. Hello there, Phallic Rimrims, and welcome to Phallic Rimworld, where today... I'm going to have to censor the helmets on our people. Yesterday, when we left off, we rejected modernity and returned to monkey by crafting plate mail. That's right. After crafting everything that we've possibly crafted throughout the entire game, Raynar armor, void armor, glitter armor, you name it, whatever armor, we've decided that plate mail was the way to go because, my friends, through this plate mail, through this mighty plate mail, we have ascended to a whole new level. 244 sharp defense. The alpha poly helmet giving a further 115% sharp armor. Void will never know what hit them. And if Void will never know what hit them, the Empire... I mean, little bitches. They landed right in the... I mean, as far as tactical plays go, that doesn't strike me as the smartest one. However, credit to the Empire. Oh, well, I mean, it's probably down to the fact that we're generating just a disgusting amount of colony wealth right now. Uh, yep, that'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> They've actually decided to send strong raids. So let's be a bit more careful. Snow does not yet have a big purple helmet. So we're going to send in the regular crew. And by the regular crew, I mean a new addition to our crew. Yesterday, you might remember, we captured a void man. And... Uh, okay. Uh, yesterday, you might remember, we captured a void man. Who has since been recruited and renamed... Ashen Jack. Welcome, Ashen Jack. With your 20 shooting and 20 melee and 20 construction and 20 mining and 20 cooking and 20 plants and 20... Hang on a minute. This is a siege, isn't it? In that case, send B75 and Jastanaut. Wait, they don't have helmets, so they could just be headshot. Send in lasers. <laughs> Sky steel artillery. Well, that's a big dick play. Today, we deploy. We get out there. We fight. We kill. We slay. 33,000. We're going to upgrade so many settlements. We're going to outfit our military with new and improved gear because we haven't looked at that in a very, very long time. And ultimately, we're going to start pushing back the void. I'm, I hope we can start pushing back the void. I'm going to attempt to push back the void. Oh, they provided some cover for her too. Isn't that nice of them? Good luck, Liz. This may be dangerous because she is up against a lot of the Empire. Okay, let's keep our distance then. We're not going to get to the cover. Try and bait them around the corner. They are... They actually injured her. How? Must have been like her. I was going to say either her feet or her... Keep hugging that sandbags. <laughs> Fuck. That's the type of thing you see on a shirt on AliExpress. I will admit, it's very nice to be able to run as fast as she's running. Even though it's plate mail. You know, it's plate mail with a massive movement penalty there. And she can still haul ass because of all those crazy void implants that she's got. Right. So if they go through the... Look, they're going through my magic path. They're going through my magic mud hole. Oh, I shouldn't... <laughs> Move on. I'll censor that. I'll edit it out. Well, who could have been surprised that they were not very good? Oh, they had gorse lances. I mean, I... Musicons? You can't do that. That's very illegal. 37,000 gold. Jesus. Okay, so we need to start with then... I believe the most powerful military upgrade is the uh, automated defense systems. 400 silver per tax upkeep. So we've got to make sure if we're building one of these in every one that we've got, you know, good 1600. Bear in mind, we already have one in tow raining grounds. So let's get those down. Oh, no, wait. Quarry fun. No, no, no. We're, okay, we only need 1200. But even then, still got to be very, very aware of that. Otherwise, they'll start getting pissed off at me. And then what else we got here? In-house merc company. That's level one. We'll go for that. This is going to be great. The rest of the cash. We can upgrade. I know it says 37,000 still. That's because we're paused. Um, so don't worry about that one too much. Right. Till raining grounds. What do we need for... Oh, hello. Hello there. Uh, can we even build any other military settlements? What do we not have? We don't have the artillery outpost there. Oh, shit. What happened to C70? <gasps> he actually got shot? Wait. Permanent gunshot injury in the brain. They actually knocked down C70. The Empire actually took him out of play. Are you fucking kidding me? What was his brain health? Three out of ten? Wow, that, that was um dangerous, uh, for lack of a better word. Let's go Neratonin. Uh maybe maybe give uh, okay, animals, you can leave now. <laughs> Thank you, Jarus Prime. You can you can get off the bed. Right, okay, E64. Let's see if we can get him back to back to health. Okay, I, was, I didn't know if that would cure a bruise or whatever. Okay, we're good. Oh, <gasps> masterwork alpha poly plate helmet. We haven't had any masterwork plate armors. The best we got was excellent. 
if we can get a legendary one, we need to keep an eye out for inspiration specifically. See if we can get a creativity inspiration out of them. This is where the drugs would come in handy. Oh, we've got five Pythium. What did Pythium do again? Uh, named after a lesser known Greek deity, this benign, benign sensory mecha, I can't read. Be uh, benign sensory mechanite based drug greatly increases your social capabilities. As a bonus to the extra, it makes, as a bonus, the extra, oh, as a bonus, comma, the extra clarity makes it easier to take a shot. So how is it designed? It overrides sensory mechanites upon consumption, essentially curing them. Oh, cool. So um, a controlled greater form of sensory mechanites. Wow. I actually thought, look, we keep playing with Rimmerfella and I keep, it keeps being outpaced by other mods. However, Neutramine Refinery. That is the one thing we can't do consistently except for using the refineries elsewhere. Get rid of that. Let's. See, I'm just going to remove these just so that we don't have to worry about it. Take it away from the... How were we making it before? Yeah, here we are. Take that away as well. Let's make medicine until we've got, I don't know, 20. That's fine. And then if we can get someone on the Neutramium Refiner at all times, that would be quite powerful. To be honest, I don't think I've ever used it for Neutramium before, so I'm not entirely sure what we need. We need the Neutramium Refiner. You can chem fuel into Neutramium for making medicine. Right. Okay. We need the crude cracker. Cracks crude oil into chem fuel. Right, that's what we haven't got. So we've got a shitload of of oil sure that's that's not really helpful though um we could put it in there i feel like it's a oh, i mean it, maybe it's a bad idea who really gives a shit right give it a sun lamp too that's been living here rent free and it can fuel storage now when we place these it's a bit more relevant uh stick it like out here the fire's not gonna go oh, it's a bit far away to pipe it though isn't it uh we could just recess them into the mountain a little bit leave the mountain wall between them I think that's probably not a bad idea. That way it'll just burn itself out and nothing else. If we do something like, um, do something like that with access, we do access down the back. I don't, I don't, I don't mind as long as it's decently safe. It's not as if people, uh, people have to worry about being too slow. Let me go oil pipeline. Uh, let's take that from there. So again, if those do explode and burn out, they're only going to really burn themselves. I assume we can just run the pipe through the wall. Let's bring that up to there. And that should do it. That should connect the whole thing up. That's all we need for new training. Hey, Rimmerfella has found a very unique and very helpful place in this lineup. Because we need new training to build fucking spaceships, apparently. <laughs> and, of course, drugs. I forget what it was we were building with it now. It's nothing to do with this. It is. There you go. So, basic mechanics require new training there, too. So, Rimmerfella is, uh, turns out incredibly helpful. Now, how do we get the new training out of it? Uh, we use something like a buffer or uh i don't remember now it's, it's some sort of storage thing isn't there with rimafella this refinery and loading bay i believe it is there go for that hey that's all it takes it makes one new train mean a i mean to be fair we only need to do that five times and then we've got look oh this is good rimafella you've actually come in really really handy there was a suggestion yesterday to put some turrets down in these kind of pathways that we've got to allow our people out because that will dissuade void now i believe one of the mods that we've got makes raiders smarter i think we've got the funnel enough harder raids mod i'll have to go and double check but basically with that mod they will someone else also have to comment saying they'll never dig through rock firstly they will uh secondly they will, I believe, with that also avoid turrets. I'll put a feature of that mod, assuming we've actually got it, is that they'll avoid turrets. So this might not work. So let's be cautious. And I honestly want to try stunning turrets. Because either A, okay, it works as uh, as the suggestion said, and they'll hopefully avoid running down there and stick to the middle. Or we might be able to even stun them, take them prisoner, and either take their clothes uh, or recruit them. So it's, you know, it's only potentially win-win here. So if we place a turret like every couple of blocks and we'll alternate taser turrets and stun turrets, just because I have no idea which one will be more effective against Void, we might as well, we might as well build one of each, eh? I'm not going to build these out of anything special because they could just end up being a waste of time, right? So we'll just go regular stunning turrets there. Uh, where are the taser turrets, eh? Uh, tasing turret. Uh, stun, stun turret. There's too many fucking turrets. Jesus. <laughs> oh. Wait, we've got concussive turrets, stunning turrets, and taser turrets. Oh, 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 okay. Those require high explosive shells. Oh, they're probably an expl they're probably like a flashbang style thing. Right, okay, no, no, no. If we want to take them alive, I think we need these ones. We've used these ones before. Everybody, is everybody armored? Alpha poly, alpha poly. So you're missing gloves. Okay, you're good, you're good. You're missing gloves. You're good, you're good. Everybody's good. 
And we've got the gloves built. They just need to bloody put them on. Right, okay. The Empire. You're done for. I don't even know why the Empire are bothering to turn up. That's my first goal for today. No more Empire. We're done with you. Where are, they, where are you going? <laughs> okay, bye then. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Put our people in here. Let's see if they can get past the turrets. Uh, well, it's kind of working. Oh, look, we've knocked him down. Oh. oh, shit. We took them all? Oh, that could be a good sign. The fact that it got through cataphracts armor with shields. I mean, there's plenty of cataphracts lying on the floor there. That could be a good sign. No one needed void to raid us. Something I never thought I'd ever say. <laughs> this almost seems more cruel than anything else we've ever done. Tase them and then just, just, just cut the throats. That's fucked. Not again. Somebody did say, why don't we just connect Keith up to uh, the gas grid? Because that's immune to solar flares. Uh, the simple reason is... It's a lot of fucking effort to tube that much gas over there, isn't it? Especially because I'd have to isolate the grid as well. We'd have to make sure Keith's on the, on a separate thing entirely. So, you know, take it take a long time, wouldn't it? Hang on, would that even work? There's not the power out, but... Well, it doesn't really matter, does it? Anyway, uh, Keith should be fine. I'm going to keep everybody locked in here so they can maintain Keith while we just get through this. I mean, look at the difference that having a clean room has made to it. So we've only got to do a third of the maintenance that we had to do before. So I think solar flares are, I mean, infinitely more manageable now, aren't they? We're keeping people awake, just keeping an eye on it there. Jesus, mechanoids, get out. It was like two in a row. <laughs> so, shall we send maybe just like C70 in the ship? We don't have enough bloody fuel. Are you serious? It's an integration, right? With, uh, hang on, hang on, don't tell me. With, uh, with this, whereby if we connect up to the same oil pipeline, it'll fill up the bloody thing anyway. Okay, well, let's do that quickly. What I've got to do is run oil all the way <laughs> through the base and we'll be fine. There we are. So that should top the ship up manually or automatically, meaning that we don't have to do it manually. Then we'll send C70 in the Pelican over to the Empire's base, right? And then we'll call in our army from the settlement. I think that's how we do it. Send in our naked void boys. Oh my God. God, hello? I mean, I know it said global warming, and it said global warming for a bloody long time. I didn't realize it was as literal as... Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. The Empire's still out there somewhere. Oh, they fuck. Uh, what? I think the Empire are dead. <laughs> uh, have they got like a caravan or something left maybe like one of these Let's get put it. wait whoa 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 the empire are dead they're gone we didn't wasn't any fanfare maybe it's called the woman that got them anyway uh one of the events added by uh alpha no 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 it's not for animals it's um vanilla expanded events i believe global warming yeah vanilla events expanded makes it so the world well, warms up. Who'd have guessed? Uh, so our planet is... Oh, Jesus. Our planet now is just not even worth fucking saving anymore, is it? Wowee. So where's the Empire, then? They must still exist if they're on the Rimwall tab, right? Settlement zero. Roaming agent zero. Faction power zero. They're fucking gone. They're gone. Oh. Now it's us versus void. Settlement's 22. Oh, shit. Look, there it is. Scatting party of void with the comet power of 498 captured Matorerant neck with a comet power of. Yeah, I mean. Shit. Oh, wow. Uh, don't ignore the graphs. It just doesn't make any fucking sense. Oh, shit. Right. Well, I want to make sure that, that we always have the tow raining grounds on cooldown ready to defend all the settlements as we've got with this with this option here. These ones, though, I want to send out into combat. We're already upgrading them, right? Oh, my God, I'm not. You fool. I built the buildings. We've got to actually do the upgrade. Right, there we go. When these are up to, what do you think, like military level, maybe level 8? Then I'll be happy to send them out. But I want to tell grounds, military level 11. That should be able to stop anything for it after send it us. We could send C70 in with the Pelican and 
drop pod in a bunch of our guys to see how much damage we could do. And it's full. Okay, I mean, to be fair, we could just build a smaller ship as well if it's just for C7... C7-0. We're only like a fast boy. Are you a fast boy? Uh, does it say like fast, fast boy? Accuracy poor. No, no, no. I want like a, like a, uh, what's this thing? Uh, speed excellent. Accuracy good. Build wide. Okay. Um, see, I don't know which ones are the combat ships and which ones aren't. I assume those are the, what was this thing? There's how many people. No, no, no. I just want. I just want, I just want like a jet just for, fuck it, let's just build one of these. I just need a jet for C70. They've done it again. Good work. Okay. So, uh, is this thing actually connected up to the oil pipeline? No, no, no. Let's get, let's get one block over and then we'll send C70 when he's had a good night's sleep. Now, do we have any of those drugs? Hey, you got any, <laughs> you got any fucking drugs? What have you got in here? Uh, no drugs. No drugs. Drugs are illegal in there. Let's go and, uh, oh man, I can't even remember what they were called now. Herculeum and... Uh, storage, hang on. Culeum. Yeah, we've got 10 of those. Then there was Bastion. Many of those. Seraphium. Seraph, nothing. Oh my god, there's loads of unfinished crap I could take apart. Um, what else do we get? Pythium. Pythium and Herculeum. We'll, we'll coax C70 up on that. Which probably isn't the appropriate expression to use. And then we'll see how that, <laughs> we'll see how that affects him. They've taken off all their speeds. Get you. That's my bad. I, I set them up with a new alpha thing and I forgot to bollocks. Uh, speed skin. Right. Try that. That might help. We want to load C70 and then we want to load uh, a bunch of drugs. Where are they? Here we are. What's the draconic ambrosia? I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Right. Send those. Do we, does he need 10? I think maybe one dose of each is probably adequate. <laughs> okay. Where do we want to go? I guess first things first is we'll hit here. So drop in at edge. This could be filled with void. This could be a horrible mistake. Right, go my little ship. There it goes. It's it's that large because we're playing with a with a little planet. It's, it's a little bit weird, but don't worry about it. Okay, here we are. God, I hope our military is on cool then. Otherwise, this was a mistake. And now we get to see what a void settlement looks like. And I'm I'm curious if if Rimwar adjusts the the settlement layout or whether or not it follows base game Rimworld. Layout. Because if it's a base game room, well, we've got nothing to worry about. Right, here we are. Here we are. Okay, it is base game room. Good shit. So there are um, many, many voidlings. Many voidlings. The hell is that? I thought it was some sort of creepy lobster. Where are we? Ah, oh, there we are. Nope, that's an ostrich. <laughs> Easy mistake to make. <laughs> right. Go. Get coked up, my man. Terrible idea. Terrible idea. Right. Herculeum. Oh, that's not very good. Pythia. I mean, it's very, it is very good, but in the grand scheme of things, no, not really. Please tell me my military is uncool then, otherwise I'll cry. Available true. No, wrong one. Available for. Well, okay, don't worry about it. Um, you got eighteen thousand. Right, okay. Select squad. Create new squad. Point reference. Janet's folly. Right. Boom. Boom. Oh no, is that all we can afford? Fucking hell. Okay, fine. Uh, set squad. You and you. Okay, deploy squad. Uh, drop pod. There. And there. Right, join me. Join me. Okay. You, move here. There we go, we've got them all. Okay. Good luck, people. This is, uh, this is a, a real... Terrible plan. It's a terrible plan, but we've got their weapon. We've got their shields. Who'd have thought that this is the might of our military? Ten episodes, and this is where we've got to. <laughs> Plate mail and naked men. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, we can order in fire support freely, though, can't we? So order fire support. If fire supports are available, make one. Oh, why you fucking make one? Don't tell me to make one. You make... What? The fire support's currently made make one. Hey? Eh? An artillery strike can be called in a custom room. Hmm. <laughs> uh, hmm. <laughs> okay. What do you uh, What do you want? What do you want from me here? My fire support's currently made. Oh, wowie! Great fire support. Ah, uh, <laughs> there you go. There you go. I understand now. Uh, okay. What have we got? 
30. Accuracy of fire, fire support in tiles radius. So if we put that right, right down. Accuracy of fire support in tile radius. So we want a lower... Lower radius. Correct. Affected by cost. I don't know what you mean by that. Um, give me Janet's Folly. Affected by cost 73%. I don't know what that means. Uh, fine. Artillery. Okay. And then we go... Well, obviously not that one. And it's folly. Does it work? Fucking works. It works. Uh. Any time now. I guess. I guess they've got to fly in from. From Janet's folly. Oh no! Oh my god! I missed an entire sub menu. <laughs> Wowie. Oh, this is fun. Okay, okay. This is new. I haven't used this before. Um, so that does make it more expensive. Right, okay. So I want it to cover a fairly big radius, to be fair, if we're going to do... Oh, that's radius, though, not diameter. Okay, let's drop that down. Uh, I think that's better. That's still quite large, though. Let's do eight. Okay, let's try that again. Janet's folly. He's got 18. So the fire, fire support is limited by... Okay. Turn into a cow. Oh. <gasps> oh my god. Have we found a foil to void? Oh crap, it actually worked. We've turned void into furries. No. Okay, okay. Terraining grounds. Select fire support, artillery, set point reference of tow raining grounds. This is all new to me, so I, I figured we might as well take a look at this. Um, let's do like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I should have made a new build for this, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, anti grain warheads. How many can we afford is the real question. Let's set, I mean, these are anti grain warheads. I don't really care about the radius on that one so much. Uh, duplicate that times, I don't know, 10? Fucking what? Duplicate it times 20. Fucking what? Oh my god. Nine seconds of sustained anti-grain warhead. Say no more. Do you think this will actually work though? Guess we'll fucking find out, won't we? Kill him. Kill him. This is for Keith. This is for fucking Keith. Oh my god, it actually works. A weapon to surpass Keith. Holy crap. We absolutely glassed it. Get him, boys. Get him, boys. Get him, boys. You, be you. Void. Highly feared. Highly... Highly terrifying. Highly armed. Highly armoured. Edgelord. Stood in a field. Think you're invincible. Think you're untouchable. 40 anti grain warhead comes down. Kills all your mates. You run. Finally. You know what fear feels like. And what's coming to stop you? That's right. It's four naked boys. A field of naked people. Absolutely fucking fantastic. Superb. Magical. Incredible. That is but the start, my friends. You can leave. New Squad 2, be gone. New Squad 2, be gone. C70. Need chem fuel. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't need fucking chem fuel. Get out of here. Get in the ship. Go. That is a symbol I like to see. That is a symbol I like to see. Now imagine that. Times 22. Well, 21 now, I guess. That is ridiculous. <laughs> that was absolutely madness. Bye, friends. Thank you for the help. Oh, no. I never considered that. The armor set doesn't give full coverage, right? And certain characters, I believe like Liz Beckwith, can't wear 
the gloves because she has bionics. So basically, because it's only a partial covering set, they've still got limbs exposed, and those limbs can be picked off by, well, anything. Yeah, it's not full set. So you're like, hitting the nose by the needle gun, hitting the leg by... Oh, fuck. Well, smelt it down. Try again. <laughs> One day we'll get a set of armor that works. That's when is also oh, just complete shite. Uh, I've tried it. Well, okay. No, no, no. The plasma gun is very good. I like the design of it. The mod is very good. What I mean by that, it's compared to Void. It has terrible damage. Uh, it's actually struggling against these mechanoids, to be honest with you. The weapons tab is lying to us, for lack of better, for lack of better word. Uh, our plasma gun, when, when equipped, the DPS drops drastically. I think it may be calculating the blaster plus the melter or something like that. Because when equipped, as you can see here, I've tried it both different modes. The DPS never gets higher than 19. So, in conclusion, uh, don't believe his lies. Got a dual eraser. That could be pretty good. What's that got on it compared to the 66.3? If we make that out of light, what's the range on that? We've used these before, haven't we? Ballistic combat guns. Anyway, what are these? What, are the, what is the downside to these? No armor penetration. Okay, never mind. Uh... Yeah, I'll be blunt. I don't think anything is going to beat the Void stuff. Okay, so the Alpha Poly armor didn't work, right? And now we have a bunch of medieval-looking fools wearing medieval-looking armor with, honestly, medieval-level defenses because it doesn't matter how shiny your purple helmet is. If they can shoot you in the nose and kill you dead, they're going to fucking do so. So why don't we... Just a strange idea here. Just a strange thought, strange suggestion. Why don't we uh, take some Siege Breaker armor and make it out of Alpha Poly? I think that's a great idea. Oh, God, that's expensive. We want a load of Alpha Poly back. Oh, my God. A load of Alpha Poly. My God, that might pay for the armor by itself. We've already got some. Well, I suppose that's a bonus of having, <laughs> like, 800% manipulation bonuses. There's 1,370 Alpha Poly right there, too. Oh, this is great. Okay. Uh, give me, give me this. Give me this. Paste it over. Give me this and paste it over. Yes. Yes. What's Liz Beckworth up to out of pure curiosity in terms of uh, manipulation now? 505%, uh, right? And then this has a work speed bonus of, of what? 180% and we haven't even got Glitter Tech hooked up yet. No, I accidentally said Glitter Tech when I meant Glitter Net. But, I mean, ultimately, uh, was I wrong? Was I wrong? In hindsight, it's a bloody good job C70 didn't get into a fight. Better mind, he's half dead from fighting a couple of fucking mechanoids. That would have been... Disastrous if you go into a fight with that uh, with that void settlement we just raided. Right, so on here I want to place a uh, siege breaker. Is that how you spell siege? Yeah, it is. Okay, we're good. Siege breaker armor, and then give me. We could have made it prestige, but I mean I could have made it prestige in hindsight, couldn't I? God, the speed of it! <laughs> I'm got any gold? We're out of gold. That's our limit in factor now. Are you kidding me? I suppose I didn't set up any gold in any of these, did I? What are you mining? Silver, stop that. Stop this madness in the name of your king. Right, give me some uh gimme give, give me some gold. Give me like give me like five hundred of that. Fuck, I can't swap it around. Right, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, get rid of the silver. Get rid of the silver. We, we're mining too much silver. I don't need this much silver in my life. Hey, that should solve our gold problems. No, it should not. What are you doing? What are you mining? That isn't sil steel. How much steel have you got? Oh, to be fair, we're mining a lot of steel. Oh, the joy of turrets. My god. Not having to deal with any of these manhunter packs is, um... It's incredible. We should probably set rearm. I know I've got all the priorities all over the place. I mean, realistically, it works fine. You know, we're still getting things done in decent in decent time on the subject of that. I think I want to set a siege breaker armor. Hey, hurry up. <gasps> David. What? Why is that dragon called David? <laughs> it's a person that turned into a dragon. Former human. Oh, fucking, it's perfect. Janet, Keith, Joris, David, best day of my life. Tame him. We can make friends with, he's a red nebula dragon. What was Janet? Janet was like, uh, wait, no, Lady Keith was a blue nebula? Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay, D welcome, David. <laughs> Got him. Oh, well, he's, a, he's a controllable colonist because he's a fucking sapient human being kind of controllable can i use his breath oh my god we can control him more or less that is incredible i love it oh now look at this with the gold ramping up now we're getting some armor produced oh this is so much better right let me go to my alpha tab and then let's go ahead and swap you out for 
Okay, so no more plate armor. Oh, we, we, we've done enough returning to monkey now. Thank you. Smell apparel, do forever. And let's go ahead and set up a uh, plate. Anything plate, to be honest with you. Get rid of the lot. Plate armor. Uh, no, it wasn't plate armor. There was it. It was guardian armor. And then the helmet was just a regular plate helmet from what I remember. Yeah. And then hammer and footwear. Right. Get it smell, Sid. Well, this, this feels like this feels better. This feels like where we should be in terms of gameplay right now. Siege breaker armor rather than... What are you making there? No, 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 no. Stop that. Stop that. You can't smelt down alpha poly stuff. That's a shame. Um, I wonder if we could just burn it. Oh, I guess we'll just destroy it then. The old fashioned way. That's a bit of a shame, but... God damn, what a waste. That's so much colony wealth just going right into the furnace. Oh, now that is a concern. Please don't. Okay. Uh, because it is, oh, because it is at the end of the day sentient, it can still have mental breaks. And now we've got a fucking blue nebula dragon thrashing around our base. Don't smash that, oi! There it goes, last of the guardian armor. Okay, military is off cooldown. I think it means we'll have to send C C70 in another jet plane. Is he still fucked up from those mechanoids? Wow. Almost want to send just Liz Beckworth. Let's see how she gets on without the help of our military. Where do we want to attack? I guess we'll take this one out next. May or may not have just accidentally clicked drop in at center. Now, I wanted to trial by fire, but that's that's too much fire. That's 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 a bit spicy. And no, that's not... That's not ideal, is it? <laughs> Hello there. Okay, now, before we continue, what's your armor rating? 347... 344.5% sharp, 275% blunt, and 413% heat, along with the armor's uh, inbuilt shield as well. And then the helmet gives another... Okay, so our helmet, it gives more sharp defense than uh, their entire armor. Not Obviously, that's not quite how it works. As we demonstrated earlier, it depends almost entirely on where you're hit. Is Liz Beckworth going to solo avoid outpost? Because that would just be real big dick energy. Have we, have we gone too far? No, she's still taking damage. Where? Ribcage. They're punching through. Death by a thousand cuts the old-fashioned way. Okay. But as far as an accidental trial by combat goes, this is acceptable. Void probably shitting themselves right now. Military deployed indeed. Military deployed indeed. Yes. Kill. Please. Yes. Draft. 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 Destroy. Kill them. Kill them all. You have my permission to die. Etc. Colonist needs rescue. Naked Void are charging the enemy. Liz Beckwith taking a lot of damage there. Hey, maybe we should use some Neurotonin. Just out of pure curiosity. You can stop fighting for a second just while you... Okay. Okay. Good. Good. We're being a little bit overwhelmed here. They've smashed the ship. Oh, no. My hubris. Matthews. Matthews, cover Liz. Run, Liz. Oh, fuck. What have I done? Oh, no. We need it. We need, we need, we need support. We need help. We need help. We need help. Uh, okay. Go, 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 go. That'll do. Uh, except how fast is this ship going to be, do you think? Probably not fast enough if I had to guess. Run. That'll do. That'll do. Fuck it. We can't, we can't, we can't wait. We can't wait. We can't wait. Go. How fast is this ship? It needs to be bloody fast. Speed. I am speed. That's not speed. Liz Beckworth. Keep running. Keep moving. Oh, God. She's almost dead. Okay. 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 Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Just, just, just run. Just run. Get some distance. Get some distance. Oh, my God. What the hell? Are... Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Come on. Speed. Speed. Come on. Run, Liz. Run, Liz, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. This was hubris. This was hubris. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's 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 the right thing to say. That's the right thing. Where are we? Come on. Surely we're almost there. Yes, they're almost there. They're almost there. Run, run, run. Run. Keep running. Keep running. Come on. The cavalry's almost here. How's she doing? Oh, fuck. Oh, no. It's, it's going to be death by a thousand. They can't get through the armor. But that's irrelevant when they could just keep shooting over and over and over. Right, they're here. They're here. They're here. Holy crap, the cavalry's arrived. Go, go, go. The crazy malefactor of tyranny is here. Die. C70 is already down. Fucking phenomenal. Yes, fuck him up. Oh my god, what a rescue. 
What a rescue. Holy crap, that was incredible. Well done, team. Well done, team. We survived. Barely. T70, though, definitely. <laughs> definitely not doing well. We got one. Yolanda Tanner. You got pretty bad traits and pretty bad stats. Why? Why are your traits and stats so bad? I'm just going to take your clothes and leave you to die. Uh, do we, do we get any good guns? Unfortunately not, no. Grinder? Obviously our ship's gone there, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. They've got some glasses. <laughs> okay, come on, come on. Okay, C70 is probably good enough to at least ship home now. It's not going to die on me anytime soon. Who are you? Oh, oh, you're one of the people from our, from our reinforcements. Right, okay. Well, on the plus side, hey, we've got something to carry back all this loot. Go down. Only another, well, however many more to go. That ship does move quite fast. It's just because obviously we were in combat plane on the lowest speed. Right, let's get, uh, let's get C70 patched up. I always knew Glitzatet was overpowered. The fact that we're able to make armor that can supersede the void with Alpha and, like, Beta Poly itself is going to be disturbingly powerful. In all this time, we've produced, well, 12 of it. So, if we can get one set of, like, beta poly armor for C70, that'd be pretty fucking cool. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Let's leave it there for today. We've got a new... I still don't know what we're going to do about weapons. I don't think there's anything we can do about weapons. We might be impervious to damage, but we can't... We can't clap back as much as I expected. So, we're going to have to rely on our military. We're going to have to be very careful about where we place settlements and things like that. And I think this is it. I think we're in the actual full-on war now. Rest in peace, the Empire. Gone but not forgotten, Missy Big Man. Even though they were fucking useless the entire cat. All they were for us was just a big body blocker to stand between us and Void during the early game where we could get up to some of this overpowered shit. Incredible work on that front, but absolutely terrible everywhere else. Thank you to JT, 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 Mythomatic, Gammon Jude, Tenacious Bloom, Helviticus, Revan, Furball, Hottie Sphinx, X Doctor Don, MD, Sideshow C, Runtime Overflow, Solon Breen, Queen Bath Morda, Scaps, King Snitch Gaming, and Cyber Baby Angel, along with everyone else at the executive producer tiers over on Patreon for making this episode possible in the first place. Thank you to you guys. And a thank you as well to Avalka, Flom, Stormcrower, Coldest Flame, Cass, Roger Wilco, Dragon Ryan 13, Warsheep, Mountain Cadelbe, Unique Weapon, Scott, Bellman, Sam Haruni, Lady Cerulean, and Anna Aurora as well. For their support see you all tomorrow for the, the the start of the end of void <laughs>